let's start the chapter we know what is environment whatever the surrounding is called our environment isn't it so whatever the surrounding that is called environment <clears throat> now uh, what is pollution the addition of the harmful substances whatever uh, the substances which may cause some harm to our environment is called pollution so maybe it is mixing with the air maybe it is mixing with the water maybe it is mixing with the soil so any kind of harmful substances is mixing with our environment is called pollution and what are the pollutants the things which are being mixing those are called the pollutants like different kind of gas gases the polythenes toxic substances these all are called the pollutants now what is air pollution the air pollution is mainly caused by the harmful mixing of the petrol diesel coal vehicular industries are producing different kind of gases which mixes with the air and causing the air pollution now <coughs> uh, burning of garbage bursting of the firecracker and volcanic eruption is also a natural polluting substance or you can say these are also polluters now effects what are the effects of the air pollution what are the effects uh, effects are there <coughs> yes and there are the effects like bronchitis and the lung cancer it cause acid rain depletion of the ozone layer and the global warming so what is this acid rain the vehicles which are producing different kinds of uh, the um, acid what is acid rain different kind of uh, gases are pre uh, present inside our environment and when the rain drops comes they mixes with the sulfur dioxide carbon dioxide and uh, nitrogen dioxide and they are producing different kinds of acid like uh, <coughs> hcl hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid and nitric acid and they causes uh, for the co uh, corrosion of our body they corrode our body as well as as they deplete the uh, monuments which are made up of marble so these all are the this acid rain is very corroding as well as this kind of gases producing respiratory problems like bronchitis asthma and lung cancer so we should have to be minimize this uh, we should have to be minimize the use of the vehicles as well as we have to be save ourselves from the first shower of the rain because this is very harmful for us next one is the water pollution water is also polluted by the sewage toxic waste products so the main source of the water pollution are industries home and hospitals bathing of the animals washing clothes uh, in the river these are also cause of the pollution isn't it this is also the uh, cause of pollution if we will talk about the water pollution what are the cause of the water pollution these all are the causes of the water pollution then uh, drinking polluted water may cause diseases like dysentery uh, jaundice and typhoid etc and one thing is given here that is oil spill what is oil spill when we are dr uh, drilling the oil from the sea shore and somehow during the carrying time during the when the when a person is carrying the oil from the sea to the sea shore that time may if any kind of uh, leakage happens to the oil they spread on the water and this causes a lots of harm of the aquatic animal how they are harming this aquatic animal because once the oil is being spitted out they restrict the sunlight to come inside the water once the sunlight is being restricted water plants cannot produce their food they are unable to do the photosynthesis as the sono photosynthesis is being stopped there will be no release of oxygen and if there will be no release of the oxygen so the water animals or the aquatic animals will deprive from this oxygen and they will gradually started to die so these all are the causes for the water depletion and the water these all are the causes of this uh, <coughs> Uh, dying of the animal and the water pollution so this should be restricted now what about the soil the soil waste such as plastics uh, pesticide insecticide they all are the pollutants of the soil and they produces the pollution pollution in the soil excessive use of the fertilizers and pesticides also 
कॉज लैंड पोल्यूशन वॉट आर द इफेक्ट लैंड पोल्यूशन लाइक द सॉइल दे मेक्स द सॉइल इनफर्टाइल बिकॉज वी नो प्लास्टिक नेवर बी डिकम्पोज एंड द पेस्टिसाइड इंसेक्टिसाइड वेन दे मिक्स विद द सॉइल दिस कॉजिंग लॉर्ड्स ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स हैव बिंग डाइड ड्यू टू द मिक्सिंग ऑफ दिस दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स ओके सो दिस माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द सॉइल एंड वंस द पेस्टिसाइड एंड इंसेक्टिसाइड मिक्सेज विद द soil uh, due to the poisonous effect of these these are being uh, died so this is also very dangerous for the fertility of the soil so ultimately the soil become infertile okay what are the causes so the soil become infertile microorganisms being died and it affects our production of the soil next one is the noise pollution we know noise is very unpleasant when the noise exceed more than 10 decibel that means a higher range that makes our Uh, uneasiness of our body and that causes the deafness sometimes our eardrum is being teared up and the <coughs> long time causes the deafness high blood pressure and depression in the human being so we should be avoid this kind of noise and we should be we also sometimes we use the earphone within our ear and headphones within our ear and uh, used to listen the lo- uh, l- i mean uh, loud noise that is also not good we have to be <coughs> okay uh, so there are uh, <coughs> two multiple question exposure to the lo- uh, loud noise over a long time causes what deafness stomach ache or fever it should be deafness very good abhisha has given the deafness next one is the harmful toxic substances that cause pollution are known as what Pollu- pollute yes pollutants it is pollu not pollutants it is pollutants second one p o l l u t a n t s pollutants okay these are the pollutants now next one is greenhouse effect so we know what is greenhouse effect have you seen the nursery of the uh, <coughs> plants they make a glass house and all the plants are kept in within that place isn't it so um, they are being kept here so why they are being kept because glasses have a tendency they allow the sunlight to enter inside the room but they never allow the uh, heat to go out or the reflect back so this is uh, this is the phenomena of this glass house phenomena is appropriate for the greenhouse effect our uh, environment is now uh, just covered due to the excessive use of this vehicles excessive use of the ac excessive use of the refrigerant they are producing what kind of gases cfc chlorofluorocarbons as well as carbon dioxide nitrogen dioxide they are covering our environment and due to the thick covering of this carbon dioxide uh, the light rays are coming inside infrareds are coming ultra rays are coming inside our uh, environment or you can say on the earth surface but they are not returning back to the space uh, in the night because um, some rays should be uh, kept inside the environment otherwise the earth will be again uh, as it, it will be, it would be so cool so the life cannot exist but the all rays few rays which are the longer rays or you can say the long infrared uh, infra red rays should have to be uh, get back or reflect back but they are not getting back so our earth is becoming warmer day by day okay so this is the reason of our global warming so cfc and the water vapor they have producing to the trap heat uh, energy of the sun these gases are called the greenhouse gases so the heating of the earth atmosphere due to the trapping of the heat uh, reflecting from the earth surface by carbon dioxide and other gases in the atmosphere is called the greenhouse effect so in a very simple language we can say due to the cfc carbon dioxide they are not allowing the heat uh, reflected back to the environment uh, from the environment to the space that's why our earth is becoming uh, hotter day by day or heat is being increasing and this type of effect is called greenhouse effect clear to you now what about the global warming increase in the earth <coughs> earth temperature earth temperature is in increasing due to the 
greenhouse effect so uh, the gases in the atmosphere is called the global warming so due to the increased co concentration of the greenhouse gases as the greenhouse gases are being increasing in their number increasing in their amount because we are using uh, vehicles more and more we are producing more and more industrial waste we are producing more and more uh, <coughs> different type of vehicles we are not uh, different type of garbage burning and all type of uh, things are being burned sometimes volcanic eruption these all are producing more and more gases in the environment so day by day temperature is increasing so this type of uh, temperature is affecting about the globe or the global means all around the world why globe is the model of the earth no so this concept is global warming means within entire world is being affected by this uh, heat so this is called the global warming understood okay now the temperature of the earth has increased within last 100 years we scientists are noticing that the temperature is being increased 2.5 centi great in the last 100 years and it is assuming within coming 100 years it will become 3 to 4 temp 3 to 4 degree centigrade will more increase so it is causing a adverse effect to our polar regions uh, due to this increasing uh, heat the ice caps are being melting the polar regions are melting para mount surface that means which are frozen uh, snow is there and glaciers are there which gradually comes to the plain and gradually they are being melted they are very quickly they are being melting so water volume is increasing day by day someday it will come the all low laying areas and all islands will submerge within the water so few of them already within the tsunami they have been drowned so few more maybe the low laying area will become drawn up and this ice uh, becoming started to melt and they are due to this um, voluminous water the few uh, organisms which are aquatic organisms they are not being surviving within the water understood now uh, the way to check the global warming so why how we can stop then we we can we have to use the reduction of the fossil fuel we have to use uh, we have to find some alternative sources of the energy that means sun energy wind energy we have to use them and uh, increase the forest area so they will uh, produce more and more oxygen which will reduce the uh, as the photosynthesis take the carbon dioxide so it will reduce the carbon dioxide amount of the carbon dioxide using energy efficient vehicles we have to stop the using of this kind of petroleum product or the petrol and the diesel instead of them we have to use uh, cng and uh, other kind of alternative resources so it will reduce the global warming many countries have signed a agreement aimed at reducing the greenhouse effect and that agreement is called the Kyoto Protocol. But is it anybody, any country is uh, being successful to doing this except uh, uh, you, you, you go to Japan. Japan is the only country who is actually doing this type of steps they have taken. They usually they use the bicycles and the other resources uh, in which they use minimum amount of the fossil fuels. So they, this is only the country. The human beings itself, they are himself, they are trying to do something good. But in our country we are not trying we are not taking any step for reducing the pollution okay now the multiple choice question again which of the following gases is not a greenhouse effect carbon dioxide oxygen and cfc yes q2 protocol yes right you are uh, uh, ankita what is the answer no carbon dioxide is not correct answer the question see the question which of the following gas is not a greenhouse gas that is oxygen yes Earth, no, who has written ankita has written abhipsha the question is not okay so yes oxygen is the correct answer b is the correct answer which of the following can increase the greenhouse effect which of the following can increase which of the following can increase the greenhouse effect burning of fossil fuel deforestation and both of these which one 
yes both of this it should be not both arya this is both of this yes you have written both dear <laughs> okay no problem this is both of this yes now the natural resources we know there are two kind of natural resources the substances that we utilize in our daily life and make things and our need are called the resources and the resources that we get from the nature is called the natural resources there are two type of natural resources one is renewable resources another is non renewable resources so the renewable resources the resources that either we get exhausted or replaced naturally with a reasonable period of time that means sunlight and air water these all are the resources at least continuously we are ge getting and we can uh, just get it back after finishing or uh, we can try at least something to get this type of resources so these are called the renewable resources and what are the non renewable resources which cannot be replaced within the time period or within very easily we cannot replace them just like the fossil fuels coal petroleum minerals these all are the non renewable resources which we cannot replace within the short time periods it takes 100 millions of the years to reform so these are called the non renewable resources yes we have to use them judiciously okay judiciously means wisely now the next one is conserve uh, conservation of the natural resources how we can conserve the natural resources we should plant more and more trees we have to use the cng in the cng fuels yes anything else yes petroleum yes very good petroleum is the uh, non renewable resources we should prevent water pollution to keep our river clean if everybody will become ready mentally ready to reduce the pollution we can do it isn't it now we should use renewable resources like solar energy wind energy hydro energy, energy to conserve the fossil fuels minerals can be conserved by using them again through the recycling for example glass bottles and metallic cans can be uh, recycled and used again so these all are the resources we can uh, just if the tap is open we we have to uh, just um, of the tap we have to screw the tap uh, if, if we are seeing the water is unnecessarily being waste we can reduce that we can reduce the uh, uses of the um, petroleum and all that by this we can uh, reduce the pollution if everybody will ready then it will be uh, occurred okay so uh, we yes very good so uh, you have completed this and i think the time is also completed so um, the next time i will or tomorrow you please go through your um, please go through your uh, chapter and tomorrow please go through your video because i will release one offline video where you will get all the answers no need of reading any long answer because i if uh, mcq questions are there it is sufficient to read the chapter very well and i will if i will give questions uh, related mcq that will be from the short question type or the short uh, short question time or the very short question time not from the long answer so go through the chapter if any question is remaining don't worry about that go through the chapter you will get all the mcq pattern questions and best of luck and if you have any kind of problem you can ask me tomorrow okay uh, okay thank you and um, have a nice day and please go through the chapters okay thank you